Did you know that any damage to a milling burr will really cut down on the amount of units that you get from that burr? In this video, I'm going to hit burrs into different materials that might be common around the lab and show you what sort of damage happens. I'm Greg Everett with Sierra Dental Tool and let's get started. Before we break any tools, I want to go over the design of the test. And what we're going to do is uh, use a, a, a pendulum to control the impact of a tool into various materials. Uh, and then we're going to see what happens. So in order to calibrate that pendulum, I had to figure out a way to uh, quantify the amount of force. And the, the easiest way for me to do that is actually to think about a number two pencil. Um, if you take a pencil that's freshly sharpened, just tap it on the desk enough to break the lead, that's the amount of force that we're going for here. So quickly, I'm gonna demonstrate the uh, force output of the rig. And uh, I've, I've previously determined that this is the best stop point for that. But quickly, uh, what we're gonna do is look at the pencil here. Um, it's under the microscope, and you can see that it's pristine, it's, it's freshly sharpened. And we'll quickly slide it here into the pencil holder. Do an impact. Pull it out. And let's take a look at what happened under the scope. All right, so what you can see is that it just barely chipped the tip of the tool. And so now that we have our force figured out, uh, let's break some tools. All right, for the first test, we're gonna simulate a tool impact into a brass tool holder. Um, a lot of uh, CAD CAM milling machines have brass tool holders. It's uh, fairly common to damage a uh, tool when you're, when you're installing it if you're not paying attention. So we've got the tool uh, mocked up in the pendulum and uh, I've got a brass tool holder uh, set up as an impactor. Let's go ahead and do the test. There's the impact. Okay, so for the next test, uh, we're going to hit a tool on another tool. Uh, I've got a tool uh, set up as an impactor and another uh, tool in the swing arm. Um, and the common way for this to happen is if uh, you've got your tools rolling around in a drawer or box somewhere where they can easily hit each other. Uh, so keep, keep in mind it's, it's best to always keep the, the original packaging that your tool came in for storage. Okay, let's do it. And there it is. For the third test, uh, I wanted to simulate what happens uh, if the tool were to roll off the desk uh, or, or get fumbled and dropped onto the floor. So in the machine, we have a, uh, a little sample of floor tile as the impact sample and another fresh tool. So let's see what happens. Back to the stop point and drop it. There it is. Okay, so let's see what kind of results we got. I've got our three tools uh, lined up on the desk and we're gonna throw them in the microscope and see what, what happened, uh, if anything at all. Let's take a look. Uh, first tool is the one that hit the brass. And um, by the way, I color coded these uh, so I could keep track of them. The brass was our, uh, our red coated tool. So we'll throw it in and run her around and uh, yeah. There we go. Let's come around this way here. You can see a, uh, a substantial chip. Now I didn't get my aim very well, but that's where the impact occurred right there on the flute. Um, it actually chipped the carbide and the, the diamond coating. So that's, that's fairly significant. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the next one. And this is our tool-on-tool uh, -tool impact, which is our yellow tip. And the tool's a little dusty, but I think that'll be okay. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, so this one didn't actually get into the carbide as much. Let me get it to focus. But it did significantly uh, take the diamond coating off of the tool. There's a little bit of chipping on the carbide. 
I would definitely call that a significant amount of damage. And for the final one, this is our tool that hit tile. And, ooh, wow. That is a huge chip. And keep in mind, this isn't really that much force. You can definitely test it with a pencil if you have, uh, have one on your desk. And look, that's actually kind of cool. The paint kept the, uh, the diamond coating intact. You can see the little chip just hanging out on there. That's pretty neat. So this chip uh, would, would very, very quickly result in a, in a lot of wear uh, on, on the tool. All right, so this has been pretty fascinating to see the results of these impacts under magnification. Uh, it's pretty obvious to me that no matter what the tool hits, um, it, it can definitely uh, cause uh, trauma to the cutting edge of the tool. Um, and we know that that definitely uh, affects the service life of the tool. So keep it in mind when you're handling uh, your tooling in the lab, try to avoid any sort of accidental damage. Um, and you're going to be much, uh, much happier with the results of your uh, tooling life and uh, make your dollars go even further. So check out our other content on uh, weteamup-dental.com. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff like this on there. And uh, thanks for taking a look. Again, this is Greg Everett with Sierra Dental Tool. Until next time, have a good one.